passage describing is it explaining is it ridiculing is it nodding one two three four four words and the follow and each word is followed by a sentence but this first word in each of these answer choices makes a difference is he trying to contradict okay is he sounding some kind of a caution is he being prophetic we don't know first word in each of these choices are critical to your picking up the right answer okay am i clear so far am i clear first type of questions theme based first type of questions central idea main authors authors main concern of writing this so not just looking at the surface structure deep structure okay looking at transitional words looking at the first words in answer choices eliminating those things and then moving ahead right second one title what do you think is the appropriate title for this passage what do you think is most suitable most suitable as i said look at this thematic sentences look at the last sentence in the last paragraph because the thought process of the author must have changed okay in the passage there is a likelihood of the author trying to use a particular title particular title so you jump to the conclusion that this could be the title because he has picked up that title from there and put it in your answer choice title again has to be all encompassing covering all aspects of the passage so in your bottom of the pyramid triangle which you have drawn you have these questions central theme central theme or main idea or the title just go up just go up you write supporting ideas supporting ideas supporting idea questions supporting idea questions would just like a building which needs to have supporting structures when an author is building his argument building his argument he will have to have supporting details supporting details understand this sometimes when you are arguing with your friends on any particular issue you say look i am right because of 1 2 3 4 these are supporting details to make your argument valid same here same here the authors actually give a lot of details lot of details to support this base structure is super structure of the argument now if that is the case expect more to questions on these supporting details he is asking these questions primarily to test whether you have paid adequate attention to minor details it can be in the form of a numeral okay 0.6 percentage increase in the gdp he wants to test whether you have noticed that 0.6 percentage supporting details it can be any passage it can be science it can be arts it can be humanities commerce etc etc we will have to pay adequate attention to minute details because there are bound to be questions on this bound to be questions on this is it clear because these are the supporting details which actually give some kind of solidity to your entire passage is it clear any questions right now in the process of giving or uh, supplementing a lot of information i think there will be 
questions on certain words, certain words in the passage. What, according to you, does the author mean by using this particular word? By using this particular word. Okay, he may give synonyms as answer choices, but we will have to understand the word which is used in the context, not the literal meaning, not the literal meaning. Contextually, what does this word mean? What does it signify? Is it lending more thought to the entire paragraph? I think you will have to look at this. Vocabulary. Vocabulary questions. You will have, you may not have, we don't know. Okay? Nobody can predict what passages are given, what kind of questions are given. But expect questions on vocabulary. So I, I don't know the level of vocabulary each one of you possesses. But my suggestion is that you will have to work on your vocabulary. Not just for this examples. It will be a lifelong learning uh, uh, skill which you have Add it to your repertoire if you are enhancing your vocabulary. Okay, even in normal conversations or when you are asked to speak somewhere, vocabulary. Okay, please spend time on working on words, working with words. Different ways. If you are traveling by bus, we have some kind of a Small women, right? There are different methods of actually improving. Please buy one very good dictionary. <coughs> dictionary which gives you not just the meaning but also the usage of the word. That is important. Usage of the word in different contexts. Different? Because one word can be used in several different ways, several different meanings. Okay, in several different forms also. So, please buy one good essential English dictionary which will help you. If you go to any good bookstall, you have what you call as memory cards, small cards, flash cards, boxes. Each card has some 11 words. Reverse it, you have antonyms and synonyms. Okay, go to a good bookstall, not a uh, any kind of bookstall, buy this, carry this, what we call as word master, word master, carry it in your bags, okay, when you find time just go through, you will be spending maybe about 500-600 rupees on each of this, sorry, you may have added 500-600 to 600 words because this word master has about uh, 55 cards each card with 11 to 10 words, 550 words for just about 200 rupees. I know you will blow up uh, 200 rupees very easily if you are going to a movie. Right? For your ticket, your popcorns, your ice creams. Okay, this is an worthwhile investment. Go for some Reader's Digest publications. Write word at the right time. Write word at the right time. Understand? Use the right word. Again, a reader's digest publication. <laughs> now, all these are lifetime investments. Believe me. You have it in your house. You have it in your library. You flip through them. Okay? If you have patience, because these days we don't have patience. Immediately, you go and Google it. Okay? Sometimes you may get synonyms. My problem is that uh, you have to again browse through the usage, etc., etc. But once you get the meaning, you say, ah, this is the meaning. But there could be other meanings which are not running through. <coughs> so, vocabulary is a must. Otherwise, what happens, I tell you. You read a paragraph. You read a paragraph. And you don't know the meanings of three or four words. Blank. Bouncers. Three, four words, you are not aware 
you have come across this word for the first time. How do you make sense out of this paragraph then? It's not like you leave the ball to the wicket keeper. Nobody is there. So what do you do? You go back to your answers. Hey, you don't know to correct it. You don't know to correct it. You don't know. So you have not understood the paragraph because you have not understood the word. Quite often, this is a major, major problem for students appearing for competitive exams. People who have language handicaps, because there is something called as pressy writing there. Pressy writing, which means the 300 words has to be compressed into 75 words. What do you do? 300 words, you don't, you are not understanding at least 30 words or 40 words. So how do you crunch it? You have not understood the gist of the par paragraph or the passage. Suddenly you are asked to condense it to 75 words. Impossible. So, please work. Don't feel bad if I am saying this. But yeah, please work on your vocabulary. If there is some dictionary which we have thrown out somewhere, please go back, dust it, keep it under the table. Okay, add to your vocabulary, it will help. Okay? So, second set of questions. What is it? That is supporting idea questions. Supporting idea questions. Okay, vocabulary, questions on vocabulary. Yeah, then we have what we call as implied idea questions. <coughs> implied idea questions or inference questions. Implied idea questions or inference questions. Implied. The meaning is hidden. The meaning is hidden. It is not obvious. You have to draw your own inference. It is one step away from the passage. Move away from the passage, please. Okay? X happens in the place, in the presence of Y. Just giving you a simple example. X happens in the Presence of Y. What happens in the absence of X? Are you following this? There is a causal relationship which is being asked. This is happening, okay? Oh, people are malnourished because of their, you know, poor economic conditions. Malnourishment and poverty conditions. So, what could be the inference you can draw? You can say, you simply ask a question. What if poverty conditions are improved? Or if the government comes up with special schemes so that these people are financially brought up? Then there will not be malnourishment. This is not there in the passage piece. Government's schemes could actually help in reducing malnourishment. That could be your answer, but this is not said. So for implied idea questions, you will have to keep thinking about what is the fact which is given. You understand this? And then start looking at, okay, between the lines he wants to say this. Conditions could be improved, malnourished conditions could be improved if probably there is some kind of financial empowerment. Implied idea questions. Please don't jump to straight answers which are there because answers are again carefully framed. The sentence is matching exactly with this. Just one word is changed. Kick it off. Disaster. Am I clear? Implied idea, hidden meaning. That's why I said language operates at two levels. Are you reading between the lines? Is the question. Okay. Then we have another set of questions. Another set of questions which talk about <coughs> application questions. Application questions. Application. In application questions, what happens is the author gives you a set of facts. Author gives you a set of 
facts and ask you with which of the following do you think the author will agree? With which of the following do you think the author will agree to? The answer is not there in the passage. You understand this? The passage may be talking about privatization, etc., etc. You understand this? And a question which will ask you whether the author will agree to a proposition which is given in the answer choices. The answer choice may be, you know, I think more government investment should be there, which is wrong. Because the author is arguing for privatization. Government funding, institutional funding, etc., etc. So you'll have to go by this elimination process and then say, okay, I think these are wrong. The author will not agree to any of this. He will only agree to anything which where there is minimum space for any government or institutional funding. <coughs> Application questions. Application questions. At times, maybe, I don't know, I can't say this. At times there may be a question on the tone and tenor of the passage. What do you think is the tone of the author? Is he critical <coughs> when he is examining an issue? Is he being prophetic? Is he being laudatory? You understand this? Each of these words has a different meaning. So, in the course of the passage, you will have to understand what is the author's attitude towards the subject. Author's attitude towards the subject. That you will be able to decipher. Provided we are able to read closely. Read closely. Read, reread. Some books and authors suggest that you can first read the questions. Read the questions. That's the questions, not the answers, please. Read the questions. Come to the passage. Come to the passage, and when you are reading the passage, there is every likelihood that you connect this question, question number seven, say with a particular line or a phrase in a particular paragraph, underline. Please practice. Skimming through the questions, skimming through the questions, going back to the passage, Look for key words and phrases which you can link with the question. Then you start looking at answers. Then we have to go for your A, B, C, or B. Okay? Have I made myself clear? Okay, so much for reading. Right? Now, <coughs> I don't know if there are any things which are left over, but I have, there is a sheet before you. There is a sheet before you. What's the time now? Five. Five. So we can spend maybe, I don't know, half an hour on this? Trying to answer? Yeah? Because I don't believe in homework or assignments because of all the grown up people. Because homeworks don't come back. Assignments don't come back. Am I right? Yeah, so I think better invest some more time now. Start reading those passages. Okay? We'll discuss. We will discuss. Okay?